the name of the Lord is a strong power. The righteous ran into it. Oh, hello children. Welcome to the garden where the Ah, it is fresh and the plants ever green. I am Auntie Debbie, your green, green gardener. No, every name of God carries an important meaning. They are not just words, but attached to each of the names is a set of attributes and promises which we can turn to for any situation we face in life. Do you know that God is called Elohim? In the Bible, Genesis 1.1, the Hebrew word for God means the Mighty One. Through the name Elohim, we learned that God is the Almighty Creator, Sustainer and Judge of all. You see, God is the one who designed and created everything. The Bible says in Genesis 1, God created everything in six days and God saw that it was good. The name Elohim is the first name God revealed in the beginning of scriptures. I believe that God wants us to understand His power. We must first know God as our Creator so that we can recognize and acknowledge His sovereignty and authority. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 tells us, Our Lord God, Thou hast made the heavens and the earth by Thy great power. Our Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. There is nothing too hard for you. God created everything, including you and I. He is all-knowing, all-powerful and ever-present. God, Elohim, created everything with a purpose to display His glory. He created us in His image. We are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. The Bible in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tells us that God has plans for us. Plans to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. We don't have to be fearful, worried or stressed. Children, remember, God is always with you. And as we call on the name of God, Elohim, we can count on God as our almighty creator who sustains all lives. He holds our future and we can trust in Him. Children, let's put our heads together, close our eyes, let's pray together. Dear God, you have made the heaven and the earth with your great power and outstretched arm. Thank you that we are wonderfully and fearfully made by you. Help me to remember that you are always with me and you will never leave me. Help me to trust in you in every situation of my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So children, go outside and enjoy God's creation like the sky, sun, trees, flowers and even the rain. Or you can stay indoors and have fun with your parents and siblings. Play, pray and praise together. Remember that God is the almighty creator who gives life to everything. Hmm. See you next week. Ow! Oh, mommy! It's so painful!